Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Morning Coffee with Mike. Happy Thursday. Uh, yesterday, in the stories, I asked for some, some feedback on what we should talk about today. And you guys did not disappoint. There were a lot of great suggestions for topics for today. Uh, where we're going to start first is from uh, Anki. And Keith wrote in and said that he has a strategy, but the strategy is not working for me. What should I do? Let me, uh, if you have this, uh, a similar problem, type into the comments, let me know. Or if you're watching this later on, uh, get in touch with me and, and let me know if you share in this problem. Uh, it's a problem that's fairly common. It's one that I've dealt with personally too. And the way, it, if we have a strategy, but the strategy doesn't work, then it's not going to, to work for us, right? So it might not be the strategy. It, in fact, you could have a great strategy, but you will have problems executing your strategy, whatever strategy it is, if it does not align with these three things. Any strategy that you're going to use must align with your beliefs, your goals, and your ability to execute. And if those three boxes aren't checked, then you're going to run into problems. I learned this the hard way several times, and the most recent time that I learned it was actually as soon after my daughter was born. She's seven now. So this is after I've already uh, gained a level of uh, of mastery. I was uh, profitable for several years, and then all of a sudden she's born, and uh, it, best thing to ever happen to me, but my, my trading goes to shit. And it's like, well, what's going on? And I'm doing more work. I'm doing more work on the weekends. I'm running a service uh, at that point too. And uh, I'm trying to be a, a new dad. Didn't dawn on me that, hey, buddy, hey, you know, you've got a lot of things on your plate right now. And why it used to take you just a couple of hours worth of analysis before she was born is now taking you uh, five, ten times as long because there's all these constant interruptions. You're not getting a whole lot of sleep. And so uh, my equity curve that was moving in the right direction just went back to the boom and bust cycle. And it's, well, this is the reason why. So when things happen to us, we need to make adjustments. So if whatever your strategy is, is uh, not working for you, then uh, make sure that it is aligned with your beliefs. So your trading beliefs, your money beliefs, your self beliefs, uh, Make sure that it is aligned with your goals, whatever your goals happen to be. Of course, you'll have monetary goals, but uh, how about goals for uh, when are you actually going to trade this? How much time do you want to put into this strategy? I had a certain amount of time that I wanted to put in uh, after my daughter was born, and it was out of alignment. They, I was putting in five times more effort, so it wasn't working for me. I needed to change that. And also your ability to execute, right? So um, let's say there's a, a day trading strategy and this day trading strategy has been proven to work extremely well, but you're not able to trade it well because uh, let's say you've got a day job and you need to be um, in meetings when it's time to execute these trades. You need to find something different. So that was uh, Ann Keats. Questions. So, and Keith, hopefully uh, that answers the, the question for you. If you're here today, type into the chat. Let me know. Let me know what other follow up questions you have. I'm just going to scroll through the questions here. Let's see that. Let's see. Um, uh, Go Heal. Yeah, I hope I'm saying your name right. It says, Brother, please uh, say my name. And I have an issue on psychology. Can you suggest a book? All right, so go heal. If I'm hopefully I'm saying your name correctly. If not, I apologize. Uh, I have a couple of books that uh, that I could recommend. Um, two of them are my own. All right, so one of them is published already, the Mara Mind Shift Guide. It's a workbook. It's relatively short, but there, if you do the exercises, uh, it should take you a few days to get through uh, the exercises. Um, that's available on Amazon right now. My other book is available on pre-sale. It's called The uh, the Trading Mind Wheel. Uh, you could get that one on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, 
Target, Walmart, wherever there is. You could click the link in my bio for that one too, and you'll be directed to places where you could pre-order it. Other great books for for trading psychology. Uh, highly recommend Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas, Super Trader by Van Tharp. Um, Mark Minovini has a mindset book too. Um, I would recommend all of uh, those books. So go check them out. Let's see, uh, what other questions do we have here? I'll take questions live. Let me go back to the list that you guys submitted yesterday. Uh, we've got Sadesh, Sadesh from India. Welcome to the chat. All right, so questions that came in yesterday. All right, so dealing with fake breakouts on the entry and exit. Well, well what should we do when a stock uh, has a fake breakout? It's an excellent question and it, it, it happens a lot, especially in choppy environments. So a couple of things that we want to do when we're going to handle the quote unquote fake breakouts. Number one is to First, make sure that you're taking high quality setups. Uh, often, it, it, if you're seeing some stocks start to break out, this is where uh, FOMO can start to kick in. And it's just like, man, I want to just get into something. And then the something that you end up going for ends up being a one of those kind of so-so trades. You, you don't want those. You want to have some kind of a checklist, some kind of a guide that's going to help you uh, to say that uh, this trade that I'm looking at checks off this box, this box, this box. Yes, this is a high quality setup. Great. I'm going to put my money into it. That's the first thing that you're going to want to set up. The next thing is to have an understanding that your setups are going to work better in some environments than not. And Part of the way that you're going to be clued into the type of environment that you're in is how well your setups are doing. So if you're getting fake breakouts and you're taking high quality setups, then that's a sign that you should be starting to use smaller position sizes. It's something called progressive exposure. We teach this inside the Mara Elite program. I just did a webinar on it yesterday. So... Uh, when you are starting to get hit, when you're seeing these fake breakouts, you want to start scaling down. And the reason why is because trades tend to come in clusters where you'll get a cluster of wins, you'll get a cluster of losses. So when you start to see uh, a couple of these fake breakouts, great, cut your, uh, cut your size in half. And then if uh, you're still getting more, then cut your size in half again. And so that way, when these fake breakouts are happening, you're trading smaller and smaller and you're, yeah, you're taking a couple of losses, but they're microscopic. They're not going to hurt you. Then when you start to see things turn around and you start to gain traction, that's when it's just like, okay, let me start to size up and you'll be making all that uh, money back. And that's how your equity curve starts to uh, grow rapidly and stay near highs. So that way, the uh, you're on the streak, the equity curve goes up. Then the streak tips off, uh, conditions change, fake breakouts, and it, it just it's just going down slightly because you started to scale down. That's the that's what progressive exposure can do for you in a nutshell. Let's see. Um, what do you think about binary options? It's not something that I do. Um, so don't have much thought about it. If it's something that works for you, then uh, God bless. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm all about doing what works. So if you find a strategy that, like we mentioned before, uh, aligns with your beliefs, your goals, your ability to execute, then go for it. Um, here's a... Oh, comment from show some respect. Been trading for five years. I've lost capital 1500. No profit so far. Thank you for your content. Uh, you're welcome. And hopefully we could help turn things around. If you have uh, questions that you'd like some help with, put them into the chat. That's what this show is all about. Helping people uh, do better with their trading. Love from India. We have so many people from India. I really need to make a trip out there. 
question from Southern Vibe is uncool. When is the right time to buy? The right time to buy is when your system tells you so. Uh, I know that that sounds like a very cheap answer, but uh, it's honestly the truth. Um, we all have different systems, different styles, right? So uh, if I say that, that I'm entering a trade right now, does that mean that it's the right time for you to buy it? Well, not unless if you're trading the exact same system I am. And that's where uh, you'll start to see a lot of the social media gurus and people talking on the internet saying like, oh yeah, now's the time to buy. No, now's the time to sell. And people just jibber jabber back and forth. It, it, all nonsense. Have your system, develop a system that's going to tell you and then you don't have to listen to anybody else. You're just listening to well what the, what the market is telling you. And that's where you want to get to. That's how you're going to have great clarity. You're not going to have any kind of stress and you'll be able to sit here and have conversations like this without even worrying about what the heck the, the market's doing. The future of crypto as per my view, I think that crypto is here to stay. Um, I, I trade crypto as well. Uh, I trade crypto when the, when crypto is setting up, right? So the, one of the reasons why I like stocks is because there's <laughs> much more of them to trade and there's more, I find more opportunity in stocks than I do in crypto. There's a handful of crypto currencies. Um, I'm only sticking to the, the main ones. So your Bitcoins, your Litecoins, your Ethereums, Ethereum Classics, those types, uh, and looking for patterns, the same kind of patterns that I look, would look for in stocks. And so when crypto's in a downtrend, uh, which it's been, then there's not a whole lot of opportunity uh, for me there. But a couple of years ago, 2020, 2021, like it, it was just off to the races. And some of my biggest gains have been in crypto. The food is amazing in India. Yeah, can't wait to try it. We've got, well, we've got some uh, places here. There's a Pakistani place that just opened up down the street. I love it. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, when I was... Uh, going to school in in the city. Uh, we call the, the city uh, Manhattan, uh, a lot of us. But um, yeah, I, I love it. Let's see, how do, you, how do you go about fundamentals? So the way that I like to use fundamentals, uh, this question is from Nizzy99. Uh, so the way that I go about fundamentals is I'll use fundamentals to as my screen, my initial set of screens. So there's about nine and a half thousand stocks uh, in the market. Uh, I don't want to look at nine and a half thousand stocks. I just want to look at the ones that have the best probability of doing what I wanted to do, which is break out and uh, and run. So. The stocks that tend to behave like that are ones that have extraordinary earnings and sales, have accelerating earnings and sales, and a couple of other things, um, mostly related to earnings and sales. So I'll screen for those types of things, and then that'll knock out 99% uh, of them, right? I'll end up with a universe of about 300 or so stocks, and then it's from there that I'm going to look for all the different technical patterns that I look for. And, and I'm really not looking for that many, just maybe five or, or, or six technical patterns. You don't need to be a jack of all trades. That, that's the worst way to do it. Uh, the best thing to do is to try to master one or two, especially if you're just starting out, right? Like just start with mastering one, get really, really good at one setup. And then that, that's all, that might be all that you end up needing. But once you've mastered one, then add on another. And then once you've mastered that other one, then add on another. And it's going to filter out so much other noise and it'll help you figure out am I taking a high quality one of these setups if you're struggling with multiple setups then you're it you need to narrow it down narrow down your focus let's see what other questions do we have how long have I been trading 25 years do I, do I look like I've been trading for 25 years, I've had maybe a few grays, a few uh, 
that it's a good thing we're facing that way. If we turned around, then you might see the, the bald spot and yeah, maybe it is a, a show that it's been 25 years, but yeah, I've been training for 25 years. It's been, it's been a ride. Brother, can you teach in Instagram? Um, well, uh, I'm, I kind of hope that this is teaching in Instagram. I'm not sure what else uh, you would mean, but um, yeah, uh, let me know. Uh, type into the chat or, or message me if, they, if that's uh, if you mean something else. Um, books on trading psychology. We mentioned that earlier. Okay, and now well, well, the time sure does fly. There, this is a quick show, uh, fifteen minutes. So if you want to join me live. If you want to join me live on the next one, well, we're doing another one tomorrow, and we've got to, uh, we're doing this five days a week uh, at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. If you want to join live, click the link in my bio, or if you're watching this somewhere else later on, uh, click in the description, and there'll be a link that says schedule a time. And then we'll be able to chat here one-on-one, -on -one, and then uh, I'm able to help you much better that way. When we're, we're having an actual dialogue, we can dig into uh, any kind of challenges uh, that you're having, and uh, it'll be able to help you that much better. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Take care. Much love. Peace out, everybody.